Hey, how's it going everybody? Steven here and thank you for checking out Geek.Nation today. And what we're going to be doing today is playing a little game that I'm going to call Netflix Roulette. Now, the reason I'm calling it is that is because that's kind of what the app is about. Uh, and what I mean is that there's this little app on Android that's called Flix Roulette and on the internet, I think it's called Netflix Roulette. And what it is is that it's a way for you to find things on Netflix randomly uh, that'll help you find movies just because on Netflix it puts everything on the front but it doesn't have a real way for you to scroll through all the infinite movies that are on there and there's a ton of movies and TV shows on there so what I decided to do is that every single week what I want to do is I want to pick a specific genre or a specific actor or director and kind of do a theme around there where I play Netflix roulette with their films this week I'm choosing a I'm choosing a doozy because I'm deciding to go into Netflix roulette with Michael Bay and what's gonna happen here is I put his name in there I don't know if you guys can see it there but his name is right there I put his name in there and I'm gonna spin this wheel and pretty much it's gonna give me a movie and I'm gonna watch it and the only things that I'm gonna say that just to make it fair is that if it's a movie I already reviewed on my channel. I won't review it, so if like a thing like Pain and Gain or something comes out, I won't review that. So if you guys see that pop up, I'm not going to do that movie. I'll do something else. I'll spin it again. Uh, so pretty much uh, that's the rules to what I'm doing here. Hopefully you guys have fun with this. And if you guys do, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, something I want to try, I don't do too much on this channel like I would like to. I just do the podcast, and I want to do more. So this is a way for me to do more on the channel and kind of get more involved. So pretty much... As you guys can see, Michael Bay's name is there, and we are going to spin it, and what pops up is what I'm reviewing. Uh, what the hell is that? All right, so it looks like it's Bad Boys. The image didn't show up, but if you guys can see, not cheating, it is Bad Boys 1. So pretty much uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go check out Bad Boys 1, and I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to talk about it, because I haven't watched this movie in a long time. So, Michael Bay, you gave me a good one. Bad Boys 1, review, coming up soon. Pretty much, uh... Let's talk about that. Here we go. Walk in here and shut us down. You know, you drive almost slow enough to drive Miss Daisy. This murder and this witness. You, you, you ain't with the bad guys now. You with the cops. This is your getaway car? What is this? A family station wagon? Oh, my God, you got a baby seat in the... Bad Boys 1, the film that started it all, the film that brought us Michael Bay. I mean, this is the one that put him in the limelight, made him who he was, and allowed him to go on to ruin numerous, numerous of our beloved childhood franchises. So for the few individuals out there that have never seen Bad Boys 1, it stars Martin Lawrence, Will Smith, and Tia Leone. Uh, and the film is pretty simple premise. I mean, it's Michael Bay, so we're not gonna get anything over the top, anything special here, but it's a film that's easy to follow. All you go in there is to see the pretty people and the action. And it was the first time we got to see it with Michael Bay. And the plot is that Tio Leone's character is kind of hanging out with somebody. She witnesses a murder, and Martin Lawrence and Will Smith's characters are Miami detectives who get kind of assigned to her case. But it's kind of like she's claiming she saw stuff, but nobody can actually prove that she saw stuff. And then Will Smith's character and Martin Lawrence's character are very polar opposites. One's a family man, one's a partier, uh, and they're very different. So the point of the movie is that they get assigned to protect her and a whole bunch of baddies show up and things get out of control and it becomes your Michael Bay movie, your action packed, slow motion, crazy stories are just not making sense, Michael Bay film. But the film actually works and it's a lot of fun. A reason being is that Will Smith, Martin Lawrence, and Tia Leone even all have really good chemistry. Both their chemistry of the comedy aspect, the bickering back and forth, the action. I mean, they blend so well on camera, which is why everybody wanted that Bad Boys 2 until they actually saw Bad Boys 2. So with all the comedy and the action, it actually makes for a very enjoyable ride. I mean, it's something that you've seen over and over again, but for the first time in 95 or 96, whenever this film actually came out, it was actually the first time that people actually saw this kind of bickering back and forth in this way. I mean, it was fun, it was cool, it had cool action. People didn't know the slow motion stuff. People didn't know the golden looking thing. People didn't have that many pretty people on the screen being exposed the way Michael Bay did it. So for it being the first time, Michael Bay took it, ran with it, and had some fun. The film is also actually the only film under Michael Bay's resume that is under two hours. I mean, this is like the sweet spot for Michael Bay. Under two hour movie. 
has all the action, has all the comedy, and ever since then, all of his movies have been beyond two hours. I mean, we're talking two hours and 10 minutes, two hours and 40 minutes, I mean, you name it, he just kept going. You can't take that much Michael Bay into your eyeballs. I mean, and this was like the perfect blending of a nice, compact movie. I mean, sure, you could have shaved off about 20 minutes to make it perfect and make it a nice, awesome, fun ride, but Michael Bay doesn't know how to do that, and this was the first movie, or in the only movie on his resume that actually kept it under two hours, and for that reason, it was really, really fun, and not too much of it, you know what I mean? It wasn't too much. So there's not much more I can say about Bad Boys 1 other than the fact that the plot is very simple to follow, the criminals are kind of idiots, but since it's the first time you're seeing it, and it's a lot of fun because of the chemistry of all the characters, I would highly recommend checking out Bad Boys 1 and I'm actually going to give this film a 3.5 out of 5. I mean, it's Michael Bay's, one of his best, Behind the Rock for me. I mean, I love The Island. I love some of his movies, but they're not probably the good quality of this one. I think this one and The Rock are his best. So for the fact that all that's being said, I have to give it a 3.5 on the Michael Bay scale. I mean, no, I'm going to put it on the movie scale. 3.5 out of 5. I think it's a really fun movie. Very good chemistry. A lot of energy. A lot of fun things happening and not too much Michael Bayisms keeping it under two hours. So I would highly recommend checking this out on Netflix. Uh, speaking of Netflix, guys, hey, this movie isn't on there. Netflix will let you lie to me. I hit that damn thing, went to Netflix, it wasn't there. Luckily, I had a damn thing on Blu-ray and I checked it out. But I'm just saying, if you guys have a chance to check out Michael Bay's Bad Boys 1, highly recommend it. Love it way more than the second one. So definitely get out there and check out Bad Boys Oh no. All right, guys, thanks for watching my Netflix roulette with Michael Bay. Hopefully you guys like the review for Bad Boys 1. If you guys did, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. And also, if you guys want to check out some also really cool videos, I made a video for top 10 Michael Bay directed films a while ago, and I just made one about his produced films. Definitely check those out. Show me some love. I also have a couple podcasts that I do on a weekly basis. One is a comic book related podcast called Comic Crossovers Podcast. You can check that out on iTunes. And I also have a movie one that I do every single week, every single Sunday, so we get the box office scores. It's called Movie Backlot Podcast. Cool. Look it up. They're on this channel. They're on iTunes. If you guys show me some love, I would really appreciate it. And thank you for everything you've done for me so far, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks. And always, guys, geek out about anything, no matter what it's about. See ya.